in the Gulf of Mexico. Now Iowa has to close their beaches every year because people can't swim in them. Now Iowa's soil is going to be gone in about 60 harvests. And this is because this white supremacist mentality doesn't just affect us like in our homes, on our streets, it affects our lands, it affects our environments. And these monuments are basically just saying, it's okay. These monuments are hate speech. You know, hate propaganda, hate speech, they have laws, they have legislation, they have rules about this shit, then why aren't they listening to themselves? So, <laughs> the other thing that blows my mind is that they recently banned critical race theory in Iowa. They did so in 16 other states as well. And Kim Reynolds says it's because nobody should be made to feel bad because of their race, their gender, uh, or their sex. Um, and. The point of critical race theory is about understanding the past and the truth. The truth will not be whitewashed. That's what this is about. That's what critical race theory is about. So if, the, if they want the truth, if they want to, if they want a real depiction of people's character, which is what they're saying, people should be should be known by their character. Then why the fuck is Christopher Columbus over there? Because Christopher Columbus was a rapist and a murderer and a slave trader. And these guys right here, I don't like the look of them. <laughs> so why is it that they're introducing a ban on, or they have introduced a ban on critical race theory, but yet they're celebrating white supremacy? We know why. Because they're all a bunch of oppressors. White supremacist oppressors, that's what they are. Kim Reynolds is a white supremacist. Like 2022 is coming up quickly. If you haven't registered, go over there, click on the QR code, um, and just register, please. Because BIPOC folks can make all the difference this upcoming session. Like, we really can. And it's not because we want to play in their colonized system. Fuck their colonized system, but we have to infiltrate it. Do you know what I'm saying? We don't have to look at it as, as like playing with them or playing nice with them. We can think of it as taking it over and making it like how we want to make it, shape it, you know, from our perspective, from our lens. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention, uh, which is really important, I'll talk more about this later, but July 1st was KKK Canada Day, and um, thousands, if not millions, of people uh, throughout Canada and the world marched uh, in opposition. Uh, to Canada Day, to cancel Canada Day because of the 1,500 and more uh, children that have been uh, discovered around residential schools uh, in the past few weeks. We all knew these graves were there, or I don't even call these graves, I don't know what you would call it, but these are like unmarked mass graves where uh, children in residential schools were thrown into these uh, cold, ground, cold ground unceremoniously after being uh, uh, stolen from their families, uh, raped, neglected, tortured, and murdered. Um, and these children are as small as like uh, toddlers, two years old, uh, to you know, uh, yeah, to whatever age. And so, um, I just think that this law to ban critical race theory that went into effect on July 1st, on the exact same day that people are marching because of genocide to indigenous children, is mind blowing. Because. They haven't even begun the search here in the U.S. There are hundreds of boarding schools here. Hundreds, hundreds of them, and there are thousands and thousands. The number is countless. You cannot count the number. And so the fact that they are trying to uh, pass this law when this hasn't even occurred, and then when also, don't forget, there are countless African folks that were lost to the bottom of the sea as they came over on these slave ships, and countless amounts of Asian American and Latino Latino folks that have been lost to the building of this country. You know, it's just absolutely, uh, it's, it's a, it's a fuck you to us, you know? And so we gotta say fuck you to them. And that's why we're not celebrating Fourth of July. That's why we're not participating in their happy little holiday. So, um, 
I'm really happy that you all are here. It's a smaller turnout than last year, but it's not always about the turnout. It's about uh, what we're talking about and what we can do to make change. So I really uh, implore you to sign the petition um, and like keep in touch with Great Plains, with Humanize My Hoodie, um, uh, Des Moines Black Liberation Music, uh, Movement, uh, Iowa Coalition for uh, Iowa Iowa Coalition for Collect Collective Change, Revolutionary Action Party, Iowa CCI, um, uh, Quad Cities Interfaith. Um, did I say Humanize My Hoodie? Okay. Uh, <laughs> I know I'm missing somebody, and that's Great Plains Action Study, and uh, Nebraska Stand, uh, and I'm going to say some, I'm going to go look later, I'll, I'll come back with you for this, but I want to say thank you to all these organizations uh, for doing this, and thank you for being here today in this heat. Hi, hi, kitato mahin.